Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys? I've missed you so, so much. I'm so glad to be back here on YouTube making new videos for you guys. Thank you so much for all your wonderful support and your wonderful comments that you've left on my last video. It just makes my day reading them. I'm so thankful for you guys. So, um, I've been away for about four months from YouTube. Um, due to having surgery, I've actually had to travel overseas to have surgery. I've had four different procedures done so that's why I've been away it wasn't easy um, I'm still recovering and just trying to trying to take it easy you know with everything that's going around um, with the world at the moment we're all in it together where I know it's just been such a, a hectic year 2020 it's just no one um, thought it would you know it would be like this but unfortunately it is and I have faith that things will get better soon so yeah I hope you're keeping safe and you're looking after yourself and um, each other and your family in this difficult time so um, yeah that's where I've been I've changed my name my channel name is now fragrance with Amy I've had to change it recently um so that's me now so let's get this video started um okay so it's a requested video i was requested by a wonderful subscriber to do a video talking about my perfume bottles so i thought that was a fantastic idea thank you so much for your request and i really hope you enjoy today's video uh yeah i'm going to talk about bottles i like bottles i don't like different sorts of bottles i've categorized them and put them in different groups uh what i think they fall under so let's get to it so the first group let's talk about my most elegant perfume bottles from my collection uh a house that makes super elegant fragrance bottles are Ducita. um i find everything about this bottle from um, glass to color to cap everything about this bottle is elegant so that's the first one the second house is ormond jane same thing elegant uh, classy very sophisticated uh, looking bottles and the third house is the maison francisco Gian. Um, I've always said that he makes super elegant looking bottles and you know what with their fragrances these three houses all of their fragrances are very elegant as well so they complement the bottles so that's really really good so next one what is my most girliest perfume bottle it would have to be Bon Bon by Victor and Rolf this is just a girly girly fragrance bottle um, it's a bow, it's pink, it's so girly. I don't have many girly uh, looking bottles, but this would have to be the most girliest one from my collection. Next, uh, what are my um, most prettiest bottles? Prettiest bottles in my collection. So I do have some pretty ones. And the first one is by Roger Dove. This is the Roger Elixir Pour Femme such a pretty looking bottle the color is really pretty um and then we've got this one this is probably my favorite pretty one it's by fifi chachnil it's just gorgeous and you get this puffer thing that you put you put on in there you take the cap off and you put it in there and you just use it like this like old school retro style it's such a pretty pretty looking thing I love it uh, the next pretty one I have is this gorgeous one it's by Jo Malone it's the Lupin and Patchouli this is one of my new purchases I will be doing a whole video so look out for that one I haven't done one in ages yeah so look how pretty this bottle is guys it's so cute beautiful colors um, next three I will do are all from the same house and it's the Valentino beautiful stuff 
So these two are the Valentina Pink and Valentina Mer Asoluto. How beautiful is that? So beautiful. Actually, I bought this bottle for the bottle. Although I don't really like the color pink, but it just drew me in. I don't know. I think it's the flower here. I love it. And I just think they're so pretty. And this is also from Valentino. Look at that. So this house does make really pretty bottles. Now, the next three are also very pretty and they are also from one house. And the house is Reminiscence. This is a very underrated house. I love a lot of fragrances they make and they're not expensive and they look super pretty. Look at that. I love the pastel colors in this line. So how cute are they? Now let's do the most artistic bottles in my collection. The first one is this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous one. It is by Arabian Oud and this is the box, by the way. It's wood. Uh, it's called Feroz. Look at that. Look at the detail. That's all like carved in. It's beautiful. And you open it like this. And you get this gorgeous looking bottle sitting in there. You take it out like that. That is just so beautifully detailed. I think it's wooden as well from the outside. The outer packaging here is, is wooden. And it's actually a dabber bottle. So it's not a spray. It's got like a wand and it's, it's an oil. I can smell it from here. It smells amazing. So that is quite, um, quite artistic in my opinion. Uh, the next one is by Anik Gutal, and it's be this beautiful butterfly bottle. I call them the butterfly bottles. I don't open these because I have the scent already that I use. I have two different bottles. This one in particular is the Eau de Hadrienne. And as you can see, it's hand painted. These are the lemons. I'm not sure if the camera catches it. Look at that. Because it's a lemon scent. It's so, so pretty. And the third one I chose was this one. It's called Girl and it's by Pharrell Williams. And uh, Comme des Garçons um, actually made these, I think. Yeah, made in France by Comme des Garçons. Yeah, so this is a very artistic one. The when it first came out, I, I just wanted it for the bottle, to be honest. I was like, whoa, that's a different bottle. Um, I really like it. What do you guys think? What do you think of this bottle? It's different. So the next one is, what is the cheapest looking bottle from my collection? It's got to be this one. Although it's glass, but it just kind of looks plastic. The, the cap is plastic and cheap, but and it's so hard to open. I can't even open it. And it just kind of looks cheap. This is the KKW um, Crystal Gardenia Oud. This is a recent blind buy for me. Yeah, I, I don't know. It just kind of looks cheap or cheap-ish or cheap. I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't know. I'm not sure. Now the next lot are bottles with the most annoying caps. Don't you hate it when you have a bottle of perfume and you just hate the cap? And yeah, I have a few of those. The first one is the Betsy Johnson. Um, look at that. <laughs> it's like... I hate the way that it's so tiny here and then it's so long up here because for you to open it, you need to kind of 
see like and then you can't really like you can't you can't grab it and then put it like that because it's plastic so it'll break so you gotta really like hold it down and do that yep don't like it i don't like the shape of the bottle either <laughs> i just don't i don't like the cap on that most another one is the kenzo this is the amour or something um no because when you take it off you don't know which way to put it back on see like you've got a it's like a see see what i mean okay okay there we go so that's another one that i don't like this one in particular i really don't like because i actually broke it off as well so the cap is similar to that one like the way you've you've got to take it off and on and every time i did that this came off it's so annoying oh my gosh and i can't like you can't put it back on like it oh and you can't you have to hold it like this and see it's just stuck it won't come off and then if i do that this one pops out so it's just so annoying it's so annoying and this one's the juicy couture couture i think so yeah, these these ones were the most annoying ones, I would say, from my collection. Next is what is my favourite coloured bottle from my collection? And that is very easily Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. Only because, I don't know if you can tell, I love, love, love this type of red. Um, it's my favourite colour. Um, a cherry red. My favourite favorite color so it definitely is lost cherry by tom ford what are the most boring bottles from my collection i would definitely have to say these ones um giorgio armani uh i don't even like this bit because it just kind of looks like this um ew it just it looks dirty <laughs> i don't know but these are very boring to me. Very boring. Um, look, the scent is... This one is She. And it's a musky vanilla, like a skin scent. I can associate it with the bottle. It's not that it's boring, but it's just a very plain fragrance. So the bottle kind of matches it in a way. But I just find these bottles to be really boring. I don't know. Yeah. Now the next set of bottles are the ones that are easy to use and um, easy to carry in your handbag. Like they're small and they're just petite, I guess. This is the Uma Guma by Bruno Fazzolari. Um, next one that looks kind of identical to it is the um, Sex and the Cineroli by Frances Francesca Bianchi. Um, the next one is the cardamom coffee by Lush, and the final one is Two Rose Flash by Tuevel. Um, so these kinds, like this, these houses, these brands make these bottles. So if you were to buy other fragrances, they would come in the same bottles. So these ones, I found that they'd be easy to kind of just pop in your handbag or just carry around. They're thick glass, so they're not going to break easily, and they're very small. They only come in these sizes. Well, these ones do, and actually these three do, but these one, this one I think comes in the bigger size. But these are a good size overall to put in your um, handbag, and they're just very easy. You open it up, spray, close, goodbye. That's it. Now, the most impractical bottle in my collection would definitely have to be the Marc Jacob Decadence. Um, come on, guys. <laughs> and you know what? The funny thing is I actually bought it for the bottle because it, it when it came out, everyone was like, what the heck is this? It was such a different um, thing, you know? And Marc Jacobs always has unusual bottles, but this one just... This one is just out of this world. It's a handbag, for God's sake. 
And what, you're supposed to carry it like this? I don't... Oh, no, that's too dangerous. I can't. Yeah, so this is a very impractical fragrance um, because when I like when I put it in my perfume cabinet, it takes a lot of room and, and I have to kind of put this behind and it's just annoying and like it's heavy and I don't know. I just find it. I can't hold it like this. I can't get myself to hold it like this because I think it's going to fall and break. So that's probably the most impractical one. Now let's talk about my modern bottles, modern and chic bottles. I've always thought that Frederick Mal makes very modern and chic kind of um, looking bottles. They're simple, but they're very uh, modern, I guess. And so does Cana Barcelona. From packaging to bottle, I think they are very modern looking and nice to kind of hold. Yeah. Like I like them in a lineup. If you put them all like the other fragrances from this house in a lineup, they actually look really nice together and they just... I don't know maybe it's the colors I don't know I like them I think they're modern very modern looking next up we have some of the smaller bottles from my collection that I love most and the most one I love is definitely Shalimar uh, Parfum in this bottle isn't that gorgeous that is too adorable. Um, so there's that one. And then there's the Femme by Rocha. This is such a beautiful, beautiful bottle. This is also the uh, Parfum. And the final one is this one by Fragrance Dubois. And it's the... Old Intense and I think this one only comes in this bottle and the thing I love about this is that it's a spray bottle it's a spray bottle it's not a dab and that's what I like about it most and the lid doesn't want to go on yep <laughs> so isn't that cute What fragrances feel good in my hand? <laughs> Meaning, um, you know how sometimes you hold a bottle and you just don't like how it feels or and then other times you are holding a bottle and it feels really nice in your hands? Well, that's what I'm talking about. Um, so definitely, definitely Serge Luton's. Um, perfect. Look at that. You just hold it and easy. Spray, close. It's just good. And I actually call these my chocolate bar perfumes because to me they feel like a chocolate bar. I don't know. This one as well. This is uh, by Le Bar. Le I can never say this. Le Bellario. And it's the Dolce Lissier. Also, 4160 Tuesdays also makes these types of bottles. Dolce and Gabbana, the original one. This one as well. And I love the way these feel in my hands as well. The um, Guerlain. Golan bottles. These ones are the limited edition ones, but they've also got them in the same bottles. Um, what are they called? called? The um, the Gourmand Coquine and the other ones. They're all in the same kind of bottles as these ones, so they all feel the same when you hold them. And the final one is this one. I don't think this one. 
is um, like known to many people but this is my favorite one like the, the way it feels the way I like when you hold it and when you spray it it's got a very nice spraying mechanism um, very nice lid I don't know and the feel of it is just I love it it's royal what is this called I can't even read it I'll write it on the screen anyway but royal something I don't know it smells like powdery vanilla it's absolutely delicious but um yeah I love this one the most like it's just satisfying for me to hold and spray it's just I don't know it's really cool now let's talk about the opposite um, the bottles that aren't very nice to hold and spray uh, I've got two of those and the first one is the Vince Camuto um, this can't remember what this is called I think it's just the original Vince Camuto I don't know the cap is pretty and all but come to hold it and spray it it's so annoying it's really really heavy first off and the bottle is like looks like that so you kind of have to grab it like this and it's not really easy and then open the lid and to spray it like you need to kind of hold it with two hands to spray because you can't like it's <laughs> it's annoying I don't know you just can't spray you have to hold it with two hands and spray so that's that doesn't feel good in your hands at all and neither does this one this is by Javoy and again you have to kind of grab it like this and then take the lid off and it's it, it can't really fit in your palm you have to hold it with two hands and spray it's annoying um, yeah so I don't like using these bottles in particular the most tackiest bottle in my collection would definitely have to be this one the award goes to this one it's I don't even know what it's called um, it's discontinued I just kept it because I like the scent it's by Morgan and it's called Morgan de Trois. it's actually got it's a nice fragrance and it's got old in it which is very odd because this fragrance is like a vintage and back then it wasn't really popular to have old in your fragrances and your Western fragrances so yeah it's a bit hmm but um, yeah it's supposed to be a body of a woman and with a belly ring <laughs> I don't know I just tackiest tackiest ugliest bottle probably in my collection actually I've got a, another one I don't like this bottle I do not like at all um, the NA NA by Keterel I don't like it it's got a plastic lid um, and it's just I don't know I, I don't like it I don't like it these two I really don't like I don't like the scent either so I don't even know why I still have the bottle I might give it to my mother-in-law because she actually likes that fragrance so yeah okay the next lot are the opaque bottles okay these bottles I do not like only because I cannot seem to see I can't see the liquid I can't see what's left of my fragrance why why do this to us why you you guys would know you guys would know what I'm talking about how much is left tell me you can't you can't know how much is left uh, I think the only method that I've found that works is if you put it in the fridge or freezer and then the, these the um the sweat that comes on here it, if it stops like um that's if when it stops it means that it's up to there or there or wherever it stops I don't know I think I used to try that doing that a long time ago I haven't tried it recently so I'm not sure what I'm talking about <laughs> so don't quote me um so yeah these opaque bottles I I don't like because I can't tell how much of my fragrance is left so and Robert Piguet makes these bottles um some of the bond number nine bottles are like that too 
Now these ones are my favorite uh, exclusive designer perfumes looking bottles. So, um, and it's got to be Carolina Herrera. It has to be. I adore these bottles so, so much. Um, I actually blind purchased all of them based on the bottles because I just, when I first saw them, I nearly had a heart attack. I was like, yep, I need to get these. I don't care how. And the, the bad thing is that they're not even available anywhere except certain places or certain countries. You know, they're so, so hard to locate. And that's what makes it, makes me want them even more you know but um yeah i love these exclusive designer per uh, bottles the most these ones so let's talk about the most unique um i think this one is quite quite unique um or the box anyway it's phantom by killian and The bot the the uh, the bottle is the same as any other bottle, but the box is what is unique. Um, I do like the Killian uh, packaging. I do like the bottles actually. I do, but I just find that this box is just whoa. I like it. <laughs> I actually like it. Um, the next actually the next bottle is black as well, and it's this one. This is a vintage. Uh, it's called Balahi. Bella or something by Leonard Leonard um, it's really pretty I do like it look at that it's kind of carved in like I don't know if you can tell but it's kind of it goes in um, yeah very original very unique looking bottle that's the back of it so I'm not sure what it's supposed to be but it's cool. It's cool. Another cool one actually is by uh, Mugler. It's the Angel. Uh, I think it's the leather one. They don't have. They don't have the name on on it. I don't. Oh, I can't see it anyway. But it's the Angel leather, I think. And what I like about it is at the bottom it's a star. But on the sides it's like a claw. It goes right round. Isn't that cool? That's a very original bottle. Another unique one, I would say, is this. This is a very unique bottle. Let's face it, it's not something you see on a perfume, you know, every day. Yeah, it's a very odd one. Um, and the, the cap comes off like, like that. Very strange. It looks like an alien. Uh, the next weird <laughs> but unique bottle is this one. This is really, really unique. It's shaped like a leaf. And I think they done this because they wanted to match it with the scent. Because um, the kind of the scent is leafy green. Um, it's Kenzo. It's a Kenzo fragrance. And this one was a Lubon, Lubon, Corrigan, I think. Uh, this one is Kenzo Parfum Det, Det, something. Yeah, and the lid comes off like this. Yeah, it's pretty odd, huh? Pretty odd. Uh, the next one, I would say. A unique one is this one this is a celebrity fragrance but what makes it unique is the spraying mechanism when you spray it it glows and it's called glowing it's by Jennifer Lopez and I've never even opened like I'm gonna pull this off first for it to glow so I'll just show you when you spray it, it... <laughs> it's supposed to glow oh shit doesn't work no nah. My bottle's not working. J-Lo, what's happening? No. Oh, that's not good. I used to have an older bottle that used to work. This one doesn't work. Well, we're getting rid of that one. I want it. I want my glowing one. Anyway, 
The next unique bottle is the Nasamato. Um, this is Baronda, I think. Yeah, all of their bottles are unique from this house. The caps. Look at that. That's cool. The next one is this one. El de la, la Lolita by Lolita Lempica. I love the fragrance. It's delicious. And the bottle is so unique. It's um, like a stone at the beach. Yeah. Just the spraying. Like every time I want to spray this, I forget that it doesn't come with a cap. It's just like that. It's just supposed to spray it like this. And I forget and I pull it off. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have done that. Um, yeah. All right. The next cool, beautiful, beautiful, it's discontinued, but it's the uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier. Um, what is this called? Uh, it doesn't have it. <laughs> I'll put it on the screen. Um, but yeah, look at that. It's a, like a snow globe and with a pretty woman inside. And I think when you shake it, I don't think you can see that, but there's all, can you see that? It sparkles. Yeah, you can, I think. Hang on. Yeah, anyway, this, it's kind of, you can take it off like that. I'm not sure why you take it off, but yeah, it sprays from here. Like you spray it at the, from the bottom and it sprays outwards like that. But yeah, I don't know. It's a very odd, strange looking bottle, but I love it. I love it so much. Um, and next one, I think this is the last one. This is pretty unique. Um, the Escada Collection. This was a limited edition. Um, I love it, but it's faded now. It doesn't really look so good. When I first got it, it was brand new and it, was, it looked really nice and vibrant, but now it's just faded. I'm not sure why, but it's, isn't that cute? It's different. Okay, so what are my fanciest looking bottles for my collection? Um, definitely, definitely, definitely have to go to Roger Dove. Roger Dove makes very fancy fancy looking bottles same with fragrance dubois i love these two houses and they happen to make very um classy looking bottles and not only bottles actually the boxes also um are very different so and look at this set actually so this is what I'm talking about when it's I say they make ultra um, fancy bottles and packaging and everything look at that Beautiful stuff. Yeah, these are probably my fanciest um, bottles from my collection. So, what are the fanciest bottles from my collection? I am definitely going to have to say Chanel. Chanel make the classiest bottles ever. Classic, classy um they're just iconic well the, these ones are anyway the the original um chanel bottles and then you've also got you know anything else every everything else that they make is very very classy i find and again it's they the scents match the bottles so um very very classy look at that very nice and classy. So I'm going to have to say Chanel. Definitely Chanel. Now the next lot are the what the hell were they thinking <laughs> when they made these bottles. Okay, so the first one is 
this. What is this? Please someone tell me. What is this? Um, I don't know. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's like Liz Claiborne. Um, it's a very nice scent, actually. It's fruity floral. That's the only reason I have it. Uh, Red Sunset. It's called Red Sunset. But seriously, what's wrong with the bottle? Like, what is it? I don't know what it is. Um, this one as well. I honestly don't know what... Is this supposed to be like a trophy or something? I well, Then why does it have this? And it's not... A pretty color I don't I don't know guys I don't know what is this this is plastic like it reminds me of um what are they called that my son used to play with <laughs> um, but yeah what is this can someone tell me I think it's a trophy I don't know but why why okay I don't know I mean Caron, it's by Caron. Um, yeah, so I don't know why they would do that. This one is the worst one. Let me just show you. Yep, look how long it is. It's the Roberto Roberto Cavalli Oro. Look at that. That's just the box. I'll show you the fragrance. So you open it up and you get the uh, perfume bottle, which is very very long and this is cool though i like i like the snake the snake bit but you could hurt someone with this <laughs> you could actually hit someone with it look at that what the I, does this come off i don't know how do you i've never used this by the way so i wouldn't know how to spray it i think you have to take this off and i think the snake comes off i don't know maybe you can I don't know, guys. I don't know. What were they thinking? I don't know. The next ones are the most popular fragrance bottles, like the ones that are everyone seems to know or they're iconic or something like that. Um, I'm definitely going to have to say Jean-Paul Gaultier Classique. Everybody knows this bottle. Everybody knows what this bottle is. Um... It's very popular, very popular. And there's like a trillion, gazillion flankers of it with um, with different dresses and different things. I love them personally, but I just, I'll get a headache if I try and collect all of them. It's too much, way too much. So that's classic. And what else we've got here? Definitely uh, Thierry Mugler Angel. Definitely. I mean, who no one, I don't think anyone has ever come out with a star for a, a, a bottle shape. I don't know. Um, another Thierry Mugler one, Alien. Of course, you've got all of your aliens. Um, what else? Got more aliens here. Aliens everywhere. Yeah, so that's. You know, when when you look at that type of the bottle, you, you know that it's a Mugler. It's like, you know it. Definitely know it. Um, another one that was really popular and, you know, as soon as you see it, you know what it is. Are these uh, Serge Luton's uh, Bell Jars. These were very, very popular. These ones. Um, and in the niche world... I would say today the most popular ones uh, from my collection it would definitely have to be Zoologist. Um, packaging wise, everybody knows that they come out with a new creature or animal or whatever um, and make a fragrance based on the animal or insect or creature and they draw the, the um, you know, they draw them on the bottles and on the packaging so that concept is awesome and everybody seems to know that this bottle is a zoologist bottle like as soon as you look at it you know it's zoologist it's by zoologist and everybody seems to like them i love them i absolutely love these bottles they are so cool i'll show you the moth moth is probably one of my favorite ones although i don't like 
moths but look how cute this little man is so cute so yeah these have become really widely known at the moment um within the niche community like you know as soon as you see these bottles you know what they are and the last one is probably this one the organza by Givenchy this was very uh, popular like because of the the style of the bottle it's got like a silhouette of a woman and um the flankers are all like that as well this one has a dress on like a different sort of a dress so yeah this one was very popular very very um yeah now this is the last group i want to talk about because the video is just so so long i'm so sorry guys this is going to be my favorite bottles in my collection these are all of my favorite bottles from my collection okay so this is uh, almond harmony by the house of old look at the bottle look at that and you open it like that isn't that beautiful okay next one is by penhalicons and it is the tralala -la. that's what it's called tralala -la. look at that i bought this because of the bottle look at this bottle guys wow i just love it it's so unique it's so different and i love the box as well um it sits in this box and you close her up that is so cute uh the next one you if you've watched my previous video you will know that this is part of my favorite perfume bottle it's the golan um b bottles in the gold gold trimmings yeah uh the next one is this one by bulgari look at this bottle guys isn't that something next we have another Guerlain that i've mentioned in my previous video it's the metallica no. i've always loved this bottle always I always like doing this as well. I'm not sure why. Um, okay. Next one is this gorgeous bottle by Boucheron. This is the Venise de Zanzibar. Love it. It's heavy. I like the color combination, the white and the gold. I love it. I just love it. I just love it. Next one is this one i actually bought this a uh, blind bought this for the bottle it's the alessia um ombre nomad look at that this is not tacky guys this is like a a very heavy glass crystal it's very heavy so it might look like it's like a fake plastic crystal on the screen but it's not it's actually not it's a very heavy bottle very beautiful in real life um the next one is this one i love atkinson's bottles i love them i don't know what it is about them they're so beautiful i love them i like how they're not thick i like how they're thin on the side look at that beautiful bottles Next one is this guy here, the Amouage Silver Crystal. Breathtakingly beautiful, breathtakingly beautiful. It's so gorgeous. Cap comes off like that. So, so beautiful. Next one is also by Amouage and it's the Jubilation 
limited edition bottle with all those beautiful like ruby stones on top look at that and the stones are here as well and then we've got the atelier des Ors bottles these are stunning guys they've got real gold inside can you can you tell now yeah see those shavings of um real gold precious beautiful bottles and i love the back as well look at that it's so pretty next is this gorgeous bottle by thierry mugler look at how amazing this bottle is look at that guys precious this is um a limited edition of angel i'm not sure palace it's called palace um, another one that I love by Terry Mugler is another limited edition flanker. Look at this one. Look at that. That could really hurt someone. <laughs> It's very sharp, but look at that. Oh, and the fragrance inside is breathtaking. It's gorgeous. It's like a chocolate, um, a dark chocolate scent. It's absolutely beautiful. And the bottle, oh, my God, I just love it so much. Now, this one's by M. M. Mikhailov, and it's the... Uh, rose something look at that isn't that stunning sometimes I don't like her bottles I think they're a bit tacky but other times she gets it right I don't know this is the rose extreme um, beautiful beautiful presentation and bottle sorry guys I've just had to turn on the light here because it was getting very dark so um, okay, the next one is this gorgeous bottle by Roger Dove. This is spectacular. I love everything about this bottle. The colors, the stones, the everything is just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It's called The Perfume, um, I think for something Mason. I forgot. Um, yeah. As you know from my previous video, if you've watched it, uh, my favorite bottle from my collection is actually this one. It's the House of Siage um, Emerald Rain in the limited edition bottle. And <laughs> it's stunning. It's got, whoops, it's got the crystals and the emeralds here and the emerald eyes. Not sure you can see it, but amazing. I'll just take it out. And what's interesting is it's um, sitting on a cupcake. So that's what's really interesting about this um, bottle of perfume. But look at that. My favorite, favorite, exquisite. amazing actually i'll keep that one here because i like to see it all right we have a few more to go so the next one is this one i'm just going to show you because i can't pronounce it by la tison and this was a limited edition and it's a fig how beautiful is that? It's actually a fig.
and it's a fig perfume as well. It's adorable, isn't it? So the next one is by Guerlain. Actually, the next three are by Guerlain. And it's... Why isn't it focusing? Focus. Uh, this one is Carmen Le Bolshoi or something. I can't take it out. But it looks like that. I don't know why I can't take it out. And it's got the um, that thing that I don't like. I don't use that. Can you see it? That don't use it but this is one of my favorite bottles because of the colors i love this red gold and black together beautiful beautiful bottle um yeah the next one is also guerlain the guerlainade oh first i'll show you the box take this one away Look at this box. And the inside opens like this. And you've got a little note here, which has never been opened. Look at that. Look at that bottle. It's beautiful. One of my favorite bottles to look at. And the final one, also by Guerlain, is this beautiful one here. Again, you open it up and you get this magnificent blue bottle with the uh, bow here. And that's how it sits in there. So isn't that exquisite, guys? Look at that. This is beautiful and it's all glass. Wow. So that's what it looks like. I've opened it, taken it out of the box, and it just all just looks like that. And the scent is brilliant. It's one of my favorite scents. So, yeah. So there you have it, guys. I'm so sorry for such a long, long, long video. Um... But yeah, there was more, but I just couldn't fit it in. I just couldn't fit it in. Um, thank you so much for watching. And thanks again for um, the video request. And I really hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know which bottle you actually liked or which bottle you don't like that I like. I don't know. Um, until next time, guys, I will catch you all later. Please look after yourself. Take care and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.